Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody's wanting to draw this and they're asking me what the best way. I don't know if I can measure what this is. I could get it roughly. You know, they want this distance to be the same thing as this distance. Of course, it's hard to measure on just a picture. That's very easily done. Uh, I'm going to take my pen tool, artistic, and click on a graphic. I'm going to change this to inches, which I've already done. Then I'm going to draw a rectangle holding down, or a square holding down the control button. And then I'm going to change this to inches. I'm going to type in, let's say, three inches. Ooh, too thick. Let's make it 2.5 inches. That's a little bit too thick still. Let's type in two. There we go. Now we can go up to object and convert this outline to an object. And then we can left click, right click. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. Then we could do this with a rectangle and make the rectangle that two inches. But since we're already working with the line tool that's done, I'm going to start moving this and hold down the control button. And I'm going to type in two inches. I'm going to go up to object, convert that outline to an object. I'm going to left click. I'm going to put it in red. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. Control D and duplicate it and rotate it 90 degrees. Now let me see how big this thing is. 19 inches, I'm gonna change my nudge factor to 20 because I like to leave the lines there. So I'm gonna fill that in, nudge it over, fill that in, nudge it over. Whoop. Oh man, went off the chart, went off the box so it looks like that. Now, if we nudge this back to the center, we can measure, and we can measure now because it's a vector file. So we're going to go from that node to that node, we're two inches. So this is going to be the same, and this is what they were wanting. They wanted it two inches by two inches. I got off of my measurement. Node to node, two inches by two inches. I believe that's what they were wanting. Now, if they wanted that same color uh, that's in the graphic, all they have to do is just bring this over. You could use the Smart Field tool or the Color Eyedropper tool and take a sample of that orange and then fill in with the paint bucket. And you've got that exact same distance logo. Now, mine is a lot bigger, but if you reduced it in size, I think they would look identical. And most times when people take a picture and send it to me, it's not near the same size. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.